Good afternoon and welcome back to Asgard and welcome to just a really quick tutorial that I wanted to do. Um, for those of you that have watched my Sky Factory series, you know that we're doing that or we're doing this setup in our Sky Factory series. Um, but in case you guys haven't been watching it and you've been wondering what to do with all these chicken eggs, um, we're going to go over that. So uh, basically you have all these different chicken eggs that build up and take up a bunch of space in your system or in your storage crates or wherever you have them. And if you take a look at them, there's not a whole lot of use for the chicken eggs. I mean, um, well, these, <laughs> I don't think we can use these for anything. Um, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing really that they, they can do. Um, and these, these are spawning creative. I think the ones that they lay are a little bit different because they'll show the stats and stuff. Um, but the same, the same general concept is going to work for this. So all these chicken eggs are building up and you don't know what to do with them and uh, you don't want them taking up all the space and everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up what we like to call a chicken machine gun. <laughs> and um, basically we'll just start with a diamond spike from extra utilities and then we'll just do some glass around it so that we can see inside. It is it is rather cruel. I'm going to, <laughs> going to forewarn you, but it gives us a use for those chickens. And uh, you can build this as tall as you want or whatever it can be, you know, just two blocks high or something if you want. And we're going to use a mechanical user from Extra Utilities. Now when you set this up, just leave it as is. Generic click, right click, random slot, and we'll say always on. And so then what we're going to do is let's go ahead and attach an item conduit onto this. And we're going to want a filter. I forgot to grab that. We're going to get an advanced item filter. And we'll go ahead and put that in there. And we're going to say ignore metadata, ignore MBT data. And because all the eggs have the same primary data, but, you know, they are uh, differentiated. So you do want to just go ahead and tell it to ignore that data. And we'll go ahead and grab, say, the cyan chicken egg. And we'll say you can insert that cyan chicken egg. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow all the different eggs that all the different breeds of chickens lay. It's going to allow those to be inserted into this mechanical user. And so then what we're going to do is we're just going to link this up. And you'll notice that it starts chucking those chickens. And you'll see that some items are getting dropped down there. Right now it's just Inferium Essence. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell this to Redstone on for right now. And um, so it's dropping Essence. It can also drop loot bags, um, which is ideally what you're aiming to get. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to put a vacuum chest on the top. And you can, you can adjust the range if you want. Um, I think four should be good for this. So we'll go with four. But um, you can adjust it based on, you know, however large you want. You could also put your vacuum chest down here or wherever. And so what this vacuum chest is going to do is it's going to collect any of the items that are dropped by this uh, mechanical user and the chicken eggs and stuff. And it's going to, uh, you know, grab those and you can pipe them out. To, um, basically, you're mainly going to be dealing with loot bags and Inferium Essence. Now, in addition, um, during my Sky Factory series, I had a comment. So I figure I'll show you. You can put down an inverted mob filter, um, a baby one for the animals. And what this is going to do is if we turn this back on, let me give it a second. There we go. So we have a baby chicken that's uh, sitting, or a couple baby chickens that are sitting on top of this mob filter. And what this is going to do is it's going to keep those babies up there until they become an adult. And then it's going to allow them to pass through the block, hit the diamond spike, and then of course um, be picked up by the or be killed by the diamond spike and drop items. Now one benefit to this is that you're going to get additional drops. So for example, let's say you have a Eulorium chicken that goes onto the mob filter. Um, whenever it becomes an adult, it's going to hit those spikes and it's going to drop feathers, uh, raw chicken, um, Inferium Essence loot bags, as well as some Eulorium. Um, the same as if I was to, say, grab this chicken out of here and kill it. I'll show you. So if I grab him out of there and kill him, Oops. you'll notice that we got some Eulorium and some raw chicken from that one. Um, of course, the Inferior Essence and Loot Bags are not 100%, um, but there is a chance for those to drop. However, the reason I don't personally use this in my Sky Factory series is when you have a lot of chickens like we do, because we have nearly every breed of chicken right now. They just added a few more, so we don't have all of them anymore. <laughs> or, you know, And we have three of each breed. So you're going to have a lot of chickens that are building up on top of that mob filter, and it's going to cause a lot of server lag. So we avoid doing that just to, you know, kind of kind of be friendly with the server because honestly, I mean, 
items are not an issue for us we have thousands of like everything so we're not too too concerned with that but we may set up a, another one at some point like a smaller one just to get certain eggs just to get the raw chicken um, but other than that I mean everything else we have tons of you know that is an option that you can do if you so desire and then another thing that you can do is of course the mechanical user on its own it doesn't require any grid power but if you want to get into extra utilities and you get yourself just a little bit of GP I'm just going to use a creative meal but um, you get yourself a little bit of GP you can throw a bit of speed upgrades into this and now it becomes the chicken machine gun. <laughs> so it's going to just rip through those chicken eggs about as fast as you can produce them <laughs> and, um, you're going to start getting a lot of items. You'll notice they're building up. We've got a bit more essence in here, and we're getting loot bags. Now, the loot bags, you generally will get common, uncommon, and rare. Uh, but then, of course, you can compress those, either using the auto compressor to do it or compacting drawers. We actually use a combination of them. So, for example, if you take, say, an uncommon loot bag and throw it into here, you'll notice that now you have access to uncommon, rare, and epic so you can have your loot bags kind of build up inside your drawers or your compressor. Um, you know, generally we'll compress them up to rare, and then we'll have access to like rare, epic, and um, what is it legendary? I think. Yeah, I think it's legendary. So um, just a quick build to show you what to do with those chicken eggs, and I think that pretty well covers it. Um, and so yeah, see, there's the normal egg that you would get this six oh five three. Um, it would be this way for all of them. They can be whatever stats. They can be any kind of breed. As long as you make sure and set that to um, ignore metadata, ignore MBT data, um, it's going to chuck those eggs, And you know, regardless of what chicken made it. So, um, but anyways, just a quick build, and uh, I guess that covers it. So, if you guys enjoyed it, as always, be sure and hit that like button, and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already for more daily videos. And, of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know, and I will do my best to answer those for you. So, until next time, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys next time.